Hey everyone, and thanks for joining me. The fan film and lightsaber giveaway contest are set to hit my channel in less than eight days' time. Ah! Hopefully by this weekend, so I hope you all have your notifications turned on, as it will also reveal the rules in this month's prize. As we have seen throughout the Star Wars movies, no Jedi except for a select few have used Force Lightning. The Jedi have the ability to use lightning, however, not as true Sith Lightning, which is far more powerful. When Jedi such as Plo Koon use Force Lightning, it has been named Force Judgment, which if you ask me is quite a cheesy name. The lightning would be expelled as yellow or green instead of blue or white, like the Emperor's. The power was uncommon within the Jedi Collective, as it was controversial, requiring them to harness anger and aggression in their attack. Two other known Jedi in the Expanded Universe have been known to use Force Lightning, both related to the Skywalker family, Anakin Solo and Jason Solo. But, we have seen one more Jedi utilize Force Lightning in some way, and that Jedi is none other than Master Yoda. That is what we will cover in this episode of Star Wars Theory. It is well known that in order to fully understand an attack, one must use it first, and when that attack can only be explored through the ways of the dark side of the Force, that student must dive into the darkness with it. If you haven't seen my Yoda's Dark Side Explained video, I'm going to link it at the end of this video because it greatly explains how he was able to use or at least counter Force Lightning against Dooku or Sidious. Let's examine the scene in Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, where Yoda is struck with Force Lightning by Count Dooku during their battle, where we see him deflect and control the attack. Now if you look closely, we see what looks like a deflection coming into the center of his palm, which should leave in the same order. However, it is sent through his fingertips in the same manner it was created by Dooku's fingertips. Yoda's ability was mastered not only to just absorb and deflect the lightning, but to also send it. Having battled with the dark side temptation for almost 900 years of life, I'm almost positive he utilized some abilities in his long lifespan of training, battles, and regular ups and downs. After all, who was he before the Master Yoda we all know? So since Force Lightning is a specifically dark side power, one that requires the user to draw on anger or hatred to disfigure and drain their opponent, it would require Yoda to turn 360 degrees and utilize Sith powers. Perhaps he is so strong with the Force that his Force Judgment is just as powerful as the Sith's. These are all good arguments, however I will continue to believe that Yoda was secretly tapping into the dark side to feed his temptations just enough that they didn't consume him like they did in the Clone Wars scene. The only thing that can stop Force Lightning are lightsabers, and we know Yoda's physical state is not a lightsaber, so that leaves us to question. Was he so powerful that he created a Force Bubble to absorb and repel the attack? If so, then why did the lightning circulate through his fingers instead of just bouncing straight back to the enemy? The attack is a signature move of the Sith, and one that leaves the Jedi vulnerable to such power. It seems like this would be something Master Yoda would have meditated on for many centuries, possibly after using it himself in his younger years like that of Plo Koon. Let me know what you all think in the comments, I'd love to read about it. I read all of your comments, as it's getting a little harder to go through them with the influx of over 1,000 new subscribers every day, I have to extend my immense thanks and appreciation. It is you who is making this happen. If you want me to create this style and level of content, then hit the like button and that's all I ask. Stay tuned for this weekend as the fan film will drop along with the contest details. I assure you all your draws will drop. If the fan film receives over 5,000 likes, which I'm sure it will, I will make a part 2 for October's Xbox One or PlayStation 4 giveaway, making it a recurring theme for each month, bringing a new fan film with a new contest, each one bigger and badder than the last. Go and join the Facebook page for behind the scenes updates and contest outlines, along with some funny posts here and there to lighten the mood. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. As always, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, may the Force be with you.